In this video, I show you an easy way to cut a circle substrate using a homemade compass and a jigsaw. I recently unearthed this how-to video footage, which was shot a few years back at the time we were making the mosaic fish table video. Homemade compass, stir sticks from Home Depot, put a little nail down here, attached a pen here. Now I can make my circle by, I know my center, I put my pin in it, I line up my pen, and now I got myself one big honking compass. Kim wants to mosaic this tabletop. And so the first thing I need to do is help her prepare a proper substrate that's going to fit inside of this tray. How am I going to do that? With a good measurement, a compass, and then I'm going to show you how we cut out a proper substrate. Now, the first thing I need to do is get a good measurement so that I can make a template to cut a proper substrate. So I have my measuring tape and I am moving it around in the center of this tray to the widest point. And I see that the widest point is 16 and a half inches. Okay, so I have a piece of craft paper here and I wanna make a template that I could use to cut out a circle that I know will fit into this tabletop. So I'm taking my homemade compass. I've measured that the diameter is 16 and a half inches D, meaning the radius is eight and a quarter inches. X marks the spot that's going to be the center of my circle. I'm lining up my marker to what I've measured to be the eight and a quarter. And now I can take my special compass and draw myself oops, a circle that gives me a pretty good template that I can cut out. There's lots of ways you can arrive at making a template. You could just try laying the tray or the tabletop, depending what it is, and draw around it and eyeball cutting to the center. I personally like to have a paper template, and I'll show you why. I'm gonna cut this out and actually lay it into the table. I've cut my paper template, and now let's lay this in here. Fits pretty good, it's a little tightish, but I can make that work. I'm now going to use this template to draw on my proper substrate. In this case, we're using some weedy board. I'm gonna draw on here and I'll show you how we cut this out. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this paper template and draw all the way around my circle so that I now have a proper pattern to cut this proper substrate out of. Okay, so we're cutting out the circle. We drew it on with our template like you saw before. With a jigsaw, it could be way faster than using a box cutter, but be clear, you can use a box cutter to cut this down. And if you notice, I have a blade in my jigsaw that doesn't have teeth, and that's on purpose. If we don't have the teeth, this is a diamond bit, it's really for cutting ceramic, we'll get a much cleaner cut through the weedy board because of the fiberglass that's in it. So a couple things, always safety first, right? We wanna wear a mask, glasses, and I'm gonna finish up cutting this circle out. We've cut the circle, let's see if it fits. Oh, dang, it's just a little bit too tight. So a trick that we're gonna do is we're just gonna shave a little bit of this off. So we're just drawing the little bit we wanna remove. Finished cutting the circle. Notice there's no marker because I cut to the inside line of the marker. That way, I, I am insured of having enough space for this to fit perfectly into the tray. Hey, Bonnie, what you doing? I got your substrate for you there, little lady. Oh, look at that. Perfect job. Yes, it is. <laughs>